Lebanon is a country in the Middle East, on the Mediterranean Sea. It has a border with Israel to the south, and Syria to the east and north. Lebanon has been independent since 1943. Its capital city is Beirut. Lebanon has two chains of mountains. It is often called the Ruby of the Middle East. It has a coastline stretching all the way up. The area of Lebanon is 10,452 square kilometers. Over 4 million people live in Lebanon. The people mostly speak Arabic. About 54% of Lebanese people are Muslim and 40.5% are Christian. There are 16 million Lebanese people living in other countries. Lebanon is a very westernized country, as east meets the west. The national symbol in Lebanon is the cedar tree, because an abundance of them are found in the Lebanon mountains. Governorates and districts. Lebanon is divided into six governorates. These are divided into 25 districts. The districts are also divided into several municipalities. Geography. Lebanon is located in Western Asia between latitudes 33 degrees and 35 degrees north and longitudes 35 degrees and 37 degrees east. Its land straddles the northwest of the Arabian Plate. The country's surface area is 10,452 square kilometers, 4,036 square miles, of which 10,230 square kilometers, 3,950 square miles, is land. Lebanon has a coastline and border of 225 kilometers, 140 miles, on the Mediterranean Sea to the west, a 375 kilometers, 233 miles, border shared with Syria to the north and east and a 79 kilometers, 49 miles, long border with Israel to the south. The border with the Israeli-occupied Golan Heights is disputed by Lebanon in a small area called Shaba Farms. Lebanon is divided into four distinct physiographic regions, the coastal plain, the Lebanon mountain range, the Bekaa Valley and the anti-Lebanon mountains. The narrow and discontinuous coastal plain stretches from the Syrian border in the north where it widens to form the Akar Plain to Ras al-Nakura at the border with Israel in the south. The fertile coastal plain is formed of marine sediments and river deposited alluvium alternating with sandy bays and rocky beaches. The Lebanon mountains rise steeply parallel to the Mediterranean coast and form a ridge of limestone and sandstone that runs for most of the country's length. The mountain range varies in width between 10 kilometers, 6 miles, and 56 kilometers, 35 miles. It is carved by narrow and deep gorges. The Lebanon mountains peak at 3,088 meters, 10,131 feet, above sea level in Kernet as Sada, in North Lebanon and gradually slope to the south before rising again to a height of 2,695 meters, 8,842 feet, in Mount Sinin. The Bekaa Valley sits between the Lebanon Mountains in the west and the Anti-Lebanon Range in the east, it's a part of the Great Rift Valley system. The valley is 180 kilometers, 112 miles, long and 10 to 26 kilometers, 6 to 16 miles, wide, its fertile soil is formed by alluvial deposits. The Anti-Lebanon Range runs parallel to the Lebanon Mountains, its highest peak is in Mount Hermon at 2,814 meters, 9,232 feet. The mountains of Lebanon are drained by seasonal torrents and rivers foremost of which is the 145 kilometers, 90 miles, long Leontes that rises in the Bekaa Valley to the west of Baalbek and empties into the Mediterranean Sea north of Tyre. Lebanon has 16 rivers all of which are non-navigable. 13 rivers originate from Mount Lebanon and run through the steep gorges and into the Mediterranean Sea, the other three arise in the Bekaa Valley. Climate. Lebanon has a moderate Mediterranean climate. In coastal areas, winters are generally cool and rainy while summers are hot and humid. In more elevated areas, temperatures usually drop below freezing during the winter with heavy snow cover that remains until early summer on the higher mountaintops. Although most of Lebanon receives a relatively large amount of rainfall, when measured annually in comparison to its arid surroundings, Certain areas in northeastern Lebanon receive little because of rain shadow created by the high peaks of the western mountain range. Environment. In ancient times, Lebanon was covered by large forests of cedar trees, the national emblem of the country. Millennia of deforestation has altered the hydrology in Mount Lebanon and changed the regional climate adversely. Today, forests cover 13.4% of the Lebanese land area. They are under constant threat from wildfires caused by the long dry summer season. 
As a result of long-standing exploitation, few old cedar trees remain in pockets of forests in Lebanon, but there is an active program to conserve and regenerate the forests. The Lebanese approach has emphasized natural regeneration over planting by creating the right conditions for germination and growth. The Lebanese state has created several nature reserves that contain cedars, including the Shouf Biosphere Reserve, the Jaj Cedar Reserve, the Tanorin Reserve, the Amua and Karm Shabbat Reserves in the Akar District, and the Forest of the Cedars of God near Bashari. In 2010, the Environment Ministry set a 10-year plan to increase the national forest coverage by 20%, which is equivalent to the planting of 2 million new trees each year. The plan, which was funded by the United States Agency for International Development USAID, and implemented by the U.S. Forest Service USFS, through the Lebanon Reforestation Initiative LRI, was inaugurated in 2011 by planting cedar, pine, wild almond, juniper, fir, oak and other seedlings, in 10 regions around Lebanon. Today, forests cover 13.6% of Lebanon, and other wooded lands represents 11%. Since 2011, more than 600,000 trees, including cedars and other native species, have been planted throughout Lebanon as part of the Lebanon Reforestation Initiative LRI. Culture. The culture of Lebanon reflects the legacy of various civilizations spanning thousands of years. Originally home to the Canaanite Phoenicians, and then subsequently conquered and occupied by the Assyrians, the Persians, the Greeks, the Romans, the Arabs, the Fatimids, the Crusaders, the Ottoman Turks and most recently the French, Lebanese culture has over the millennia evolved by borrowing from all of these groups. Lebanon's diverse population, composed of different ethnic and religious groups, has further contributed to the country's festivals, musical styles and literature as well as cuisine. Despite the ethnic, linguistic, religious and denominational diversity of the Lebanese, they share an almost common culture. Lebanese Arabic is universally spoken while food, music, and literature are deep-rooted, in wider Mediterranean and Arab Levantine norms. Arts. In literature, Khalil Gibran is particularly known for his book The Prophet, 1923, which has been translated into more than 20 different languages. Several contemporary Lebanese writers have also achieved international success, including Elias Kauri, Amin Malouf, Hainan al-Sheikh, and Georges Skahade. In visual arts, Mustafa Farouk was one of Lebanon's most prominent painters of the 20th century. Formally trained in Rome and Paris, he exhibited in venues from Paris to New York to Beirut over his career. Many more contemporary artists are currently active, such as Walid Rod, a contemporary media artist currently residing in New York. In the field of photography, the Arab Image Foundation has a collection of over 400,000 photographs from Lebanon and the Middle East. The photographs can be viewed in a research center and various events and publications have been produced in Lebanon and worldwide to promote the collection. Music. The music of Lebanon is pervasive in Lebanese society. While traditional folk music remains popular in Lebanon, modern music reconciling Western and traditional Arabic styles, pop, and fusion are rapidly advancing in popularity. Lebanese artists like Farouz, Wadia El Safi or Saba are widely known and appreciated in Lebanon and in the Arab world. Lebanese singer Lydia Kanan is listed in the catalog of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and Museums Library and Archives in Cleveland, Ohio, USA as the first rock star of the Middle East. Radio stations feature a variety of music, including traditional Lebanese, classical Arabic, Armenian and modern French, English, American, and Latin tunes. You can subscribe to support our channel and turn on the notification bell to be notified of new videos.